Hi everyone, welcome to my artistic crafts. Today I am going to be revamping Christmas teapot and a mug that I've had for years and I've always been putting it on the back burner and I've always wanted to revamp it because it just looks a little sad. So I just wanted to just bring it back to life. The creamer actually I'm going to be using as a mug. So this is the teapot right here. Isn't it so cute? See the hat like scraped off. I don't know what happened, but like this has been in the family for so long and I just want to just kind of revamp it. I'm actually going to be using the creamer as a cup. So what I'm going to do is uh, probably going to change the color of the eyes. Like I'm going to change them blue because Santa does have blue eyes. They already come with the rosy cheeks. So that's really, really good. So I don't have to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to add a little bit of green. I'm probably going to change the tongue to like a pink color. My little paint tray. I'm going to be mixing my paint on. I am going to be using acrylic, which is totally fine. In the end, it just depends on what you coat it with, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm just going to have some black paint. I love Liquitex. I've been using Liquitex almost my entire life. I love acrylic paint from them. They're just so good, so rich in color and everlasting. They're absolutely amazing. And this, yes, this is um, scarlet red. So just to make it a little bit more Christmassy and holiday red, like this is a little bit too bright and a lot brighter than this. I'm just going to darken it just a little bit and add a little bit of black acrylic paint to it. But Pabeo Studio Acrylics, this is a hot pink. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this into a little bit of white just for the tongue. And then I have my Halloween paint that I bought at Michael's and it's just acrylic paint, green lime, slime color and add a little bit of stripes to my mug. Most importantly, the product that you really need to complete this craft project is by Mod Podge and it's the coating dishwasher safe. After everything is dry, you're going to want to coat this over your craft, your, your mug, your dish, what have you that's porcelain and you want to wash it and use it over and over. To be honest, even though this is dishwasher safe, I'm still going to wash it by hand because I wash most of my dishes by hand. I do use my dishwasher when I'm entertaining just because I... I do like my items to last a little bit and then so it does have a dishwasher on the top of the lid there to show you that it does indeed um, it is dishwasher safe so after everything is dry I'm gonna go ahead and paint this on and then I'm gonna be ready to use it as soon as possible it has to be curated for 28 to 30 days so it needs to seep in if you don't give it that time unfortunately it'll just start to chip because it just needs to sink in for about 30 days it will take about one to two hours to dry which is fine but it doesn't mean that it's ready to use and put in the dishwasher and ready to use ready to wash absolutely not okay so stay tuned let's get started I do want to give you the heads up that when you're using acrylic paint and you're mixing it and you're um, using different colors and you need a brush, uh, you need your paintbrush for a different color. That's why I love acrylic paint because it's so easy to clean. You just put it in a glass of water, rinse it and there goes the paint. Clean it off with a little bit of like paper towel or something and then move on to the next color. When you're trying to make a color lighter, it's always good to start with the white or whatever lighter color you're using to make from that color. Because if you're doing it the other way around, you're gonna waste a ton of product. Oh, that blue is so pretty, but a little too bright for Santa's eyes. So I just want a touch really. The reason I also love acrylic paint is because it dries so quickly that if there's a mistake or something you want to elaborate or you want to go on top with like another color on what you just painted, you can because it's already dry. It's incredible. I love it. It's just 
turning out pretty cute, right? I love it. I painted this all white because I didn't want that really red tongue. I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. And also I did want to point out the Mod Podge. I'm just going to put around the areas I'm going to paint. I'm not going to put it around the entire thing if it hasn't been painted. So just the areas that I don't want to rub off. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to continue on to the other cup. Before I do, I'm actually going to just add a little bit of just a little bit of a sparkle in his eye. He's so cute, oh my god. Love him. I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm gonna just wipe out the red nose. It's too red. I'm gonna make it like a Pink, just like the other one. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of blue to his eyes because everything else is there for me. I'm gonna use this type of red. It's a little bit of like a bright orange. Yeah, that totally worked. almost the same. So I'm going to rest this one down and I'm going to start on this one now. This was there from before, so I'm gonna go over it later with some white and just clean it up. All right, so I just changed my water. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can start painting this guy's nose pink. Very, very cute indeed. I love it. All right, so I do want to make a little bit of a flesh tone. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to mix some colors. So there's a little bit of red and a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow in everyone's skin tone. So it's just about pretty much just eyeballing it at this point. I could totally match it to my skin tone. We can try that, but I'm gonna need a little bit of yellow, like a touch of it. And then I'm gonna mix in, this one is like a red brown, which is perfect, cause we're going to need that. And then I already have my red here, which is amazing. So it's working in my favor. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the red. As you can see, it's a little still too orange. So what we could do is we can darken it up with a little bit of the brown here. Okay. And then to lighten it up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of white. too pink so I'm just gonna add a little bit more white to it it's a little bit too orange so what I'm gonna do I'm going to add a little bit of the white that's much better much better pick some of this color up and do the lips here wonderful that worked out All right, we're almost done. So I'm gonna grab this green and I'm gonna make a 
very, very thin line around the candy cane part. So that is done. How cute! How cute is this? I can't get over it. I cannot get over how cute this turned out. I am so excited. Absolutely thrilled. This is the final look of what it looks like. Isn't it cute? So cute how it turned out. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. I didn't do the little line in the middle of the tongue there with the red because it just looked a little, it looked a little creepy. I didn't like it. Yeah, it turned out really, really nice. And the hat is all painted. Alright, so we are ready for the Mod Podge dishwasher safe. So I'm just going to grab a brush here. I'm just going to brush over the areas only that I worked on. The Mod Podge actually dries as a gloss, as you can see here. Even though it does look white, it does dry clear. So that was it for that project. I really hope you enjoyed it. It turned out so cute. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this video with my arts and crafts series. Thank you for the new subscribers and thank you for the love you show me on Instagram. I really do enjoy it. Thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, love ya.